All right, so we're back at the house <clears throat> where I did the uh, water leak on a 90% furnace vent pipe. <clears throat> but today what we're here to do is put a thermostat on a geothermal pool heater. It doesn't, uh, what happens is it sets in room, a concrete room outside and there's no way to turn the pump on if it's below freezing. Uh, we're not worried about the pipe freezing up, uh, the loop pipe freezing up because it will expand. We're, we're worried about <clears throat> the uh, water coil freezing up and uh, breaking. And uh, it's, it is a pain in the butt to change that water cool. So anything we can do to prevent that thing from freezing and cracking, we're gonna do. Uh, but I'm gonna get my stuff together and we'll go down there and get it done. All right, so that is what we're gonna put the um, relay and outdoor stat on. And there's the pump. See, we're not really worried about these lines here freezing up. Or these lines, we're worried about the water full inside the unit. So we'll get it open and uh, get it going. All right, so I've got the unit open. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a relay uh, right here. This is the relay we're going to add. Really, all I need is a single pole double throw because um, we're just going to turn the pump on. And I've got my outdoor Bill Porter board. This this board's usually used for an outdoor uh, stat for a dual fuel system. So, not really a lot of room in here. So, I'm going to mount it here on the door. And then when the door closes, <coughs> It'll be out of the way. So I'll get it wired up and uh, uh, we'll show you how to do it. All right, so I got my uh, relays installed um, to bring the pump on. I had to actually do something a little different than I was going to do originally. Originally, all I was going to do was just put one relay in. Uh, one single pole relay down here uh, down here but what I wound up having to do was put in a double pole double throw relay and then add a, actually add a second one over here um, because what was happening is the <clears throat> fan or the pump the hot wires from the pump actually came off the top of the contactor and then it fed down to fuse block back here in the back uh, where my screwdriver is and then uh, went up to the pump so we'll we'll go through each relay separately uh, this relay here what I did is I took the wires off the top of the contactor <clears throat> and I powered my common side of my relay from the bottom of the contactor that that gives me power all the time and then um, then I took the normally co closed contacts of the relay and I fought and I ran them down to the terminal block or to the fuse block and then <clears throat> then I came over to the contactor and fed my coil wires off of the contactor coil wires wires and that way when the unit calls uh, power leaves here, or power comes in here, closes the contacts, and sends power down to the pump. So, um, so that gets it back to almost original. Um, and then what I did is I added my second relay. I powered, see I got uh, on my common side of my relay what I did was came over to the normally closed side of the first relay so it would send power down and um, then on the normally open side of this uh, 
second relay on the normally or open side, I went over and I jumpered <coughs> down to the fuse block. And so that way whenever the outdoor stat calls, sends power to the second relay here, powers it up, sends power over to the um, pump, brings the pump on. Um, I had to add the two relays because I had to isolate power because once I energize this first relay or the second relay here, if I would have added the first one, it would have come up to the top of the contactor and uh, it would have brought the compressor on. So I had to have a way to isolate the power. Now, the outdoor stat, let me get the instructions here and kind of go over it. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I'm only uh, using. See, there's the instructions right there. Tell us what we got. Um, but what we have here is we have a 24 volt hot all the time, 24 volt common. My blue wire is 24 volt common, and then uh, we have a. Uh, a common side here, we have a normally open, and we have a normally close. Um, and then of course right here, this little white dial, that's your temperature. And uh, it goes from uh, about 20 degrees all the way up to 50. No, it goes minus, or 5 degrees all the way up to 50. <clears throat> so anyway, we got our 24 volt hot all the time. You gotta have 24 volts there. And you got your 24 volt common. Then you have your um, your you have your common wire because this board has a little relay on it. But you have your common wire here. And you have your normally open circuit and your normally closed. So course when the temperature hits 32 I want it to close and it does and then it sends power up to this second relay so let's test it out here I'm gonna run it up to it's like 47 degrees in this room so um, I'm gonna turn it up so you just heard the relay click the pumps running I'm gonna turn it back down around 32 or so now you notice it didn't shut off that's because this board has a five minute delay on it um, remember it's it's used for dual fuel system so it's got that five minute delay because of the temperature rise it, it may be 32 degrees one one minute and one minute later it may be 33 so um, so it's got a five minute delay. So that pump's going to run back for five minutes now and it's shut off. But uh, uh, Water Furnace actually, and that's who makes this pool here, <clears throat> Water Furnace actually makes a relay kit to do this, but I could do it for a lot cheaper doing it the way I did it. And, uh, and actually, I don't know where you would put the relay kit unless you did it on the outside here. <clears throat> and it probably has two wires going into it and that's probably it. Um, but I could do it for a lot cheaper than what I could buy the board for. So I just made one. And uh, that's it.